So normally I try to start these things with comedy or, you know, hand clap and, you know, my, my signature opening phrase and all that other stuff, but not this time. You know, I, I saw an article today about uh, Total Biscuit. I saw how, what he's going through. Unfortunately, he's got terminal cancer, which means can't be cured. <laughs> you know, it, it's just, it's as simple as that. He, he can't be cured. So he goes on record to say that he's, he's done with social media. He doesn't want to spend the rest of his life being fucking miserable because of the people of the internet and the shit that they say. So... I already saw, like, what people were writing on some of these sites that were reporting on this and everything, and honestly, I was just disgusted. One guy said he had Crohn's disease and everything, and he goes, well, you don't see me bitching and complaining about it and everything, you know, I'm just doing what I'm doing, and I was like, okay, well, yeah, but this guy, it's a YouTube star. You're just an average everyday Joe, everything that has Crohn's disease. Now, I'm not trying to say, like, one, like, cancer and Crohn's disease don't, like, take, I mean, both are terrible. Like, you, any way you look at it, you can't, you can't, you can't balance them out and everything like that, make one more important than the other. No, it's, it's a terrible fucking thing. But this guy with Crohn's disease probably has a lot longer to live than, uh, than, uh, uh, Total Biscuit does. You know what I'm saying? Like, they only give him two, three years. That's the life expectancy, which he hopes to beat. Now, I saw, I was reading a bunch of other, of the shit people were saying, and, and some of the shit was just really really fucking disgusting. Like, it was really disgusting, the things they were saying, and then I saw, like, all the likes, uh, and, 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 and comments that were being left in agreement that, like, who cares about this guy dying? Like, this, like, come on. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say I was a fan of him, because honestly, I really wasn't. I didn't like the stuff he did. I never understood, like, why so many people love the work that he did. Uh, but it was hard work. He put in a hard day's work to make them, and you can't hold that against them. You gotta respect that, and I do. And the guy is fucking dying, so he decides to go out there and say, hey, I'm still gonna make YouTube videos and everything. If you don't like it, well, tough. I'm still gonna make them. This man has a wife and child, and he's still going to make videos. Good guy right there when you when you really think about it, because he's He's fucking sick with cancer. And then there's these assholes out here. And the shit that, that, that spews out of their mouth. Because everybody's a keyboard warrior now and everything like that. And a fucking coward and a, and a, and a raging fucking wuss and everything like that. You know? If, if, I've seen it. These are the people who can't, like, form sentences in real life. But over the internet, they can write fucking huge paragraphs about how big of a douchebag you are. Or, or how much of a whiny asshole you're being. Look, everybody's got problems in the world. And unfortunately, a lot of people are suffering from cancer. This guy says that he wants to impact his life better and be with his wife and kid and be there with his friends for however long he has left. That's pretty heroic to me if you really think about it. You know, that's, that's a really noble thing to do and say. And still provide the quality that you've been providing for years to this. So it's like these fucking trolls out there and these internet like uh fucktards and all that shit grow the fuck up okay it's the best thing to do this guy is dying like i said i wasn't a fan of his work i didn't think a lot of what he said was right you know but that's the thing everybody's entitled to an opinion the fact that he wants to just spend the rest of his life doing what he does and be with his wife and kid and friends Unplug himself from all social media. He's got people that are going to moderate that and all that stuff and everything because he can't delete his Twitter because he's got, like, some kind of contract or something like that with them. Um, all the more power to him for taking control and taking his life back, pretty much. Because when you get, like, a sickness or an illness or something terminal like he has, most people just shut down, either become self-destructive or seclusive or just don't care. You know? And he's going about it the right way. So, you know, I... I just really hate people sometimes. Actually, a lot of the times. I, I, I just hate people in general because every day it's you, you see something. You think you've seen it all. You know, I'm, I'm 28 years old. I thought I'd seen it all and shit like that, you know, because of what I've been subjected to my entire life. 
but seeing this kind of shit, you know, this this negativity, this this evil, these these ignorant assholes of the internet, it's really, I don't know. See, personally for me, I wouldn't let it get to me. All these people that like all these trolls out there, and they're like, you know, how the guy was saying that he has friends that are in the business that are now in therapy because of the fans and the trolls and shit like that. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna let. I wouldn't let something like that stop me. Okay. I had a hard fucking upbringing, you know, I had a fucking drug addict for a mother, an alcoholic mother, uh, alcoholic, drug addict, psychopath, and, you know, life's tough, it really is, but I would like to think that's what some of these people just need to take a step back and do, these ones that are in therapy, I gotta realize, hey, all these bad comments that you're getting, everything, You're getting a lot better ones than you are bad ones. And true, the bad ones can, like, leave a lasting impression and shit like that. But when you're making money off your YouTube channel, you're going to conventions, you're signing things, you're selling things, you know, you've got shirts and all this other stuff. You've got yourself a little empire going. Life could always be worse. And with this guy, I mean, you know, he's he's probably just sick of it all. He, uh, You know, he's not in therapy. He's just sick of these assholes, and I can't blame him. So for, I mean, you know, like I said, I I wish him the best in his family. I hope that for I hope he lives a long time. Not not in a long time in suffering either. I hope that you know, the life expectancy is two to three years. I hope he lives for ten and long enough. Because again, he's got a kid and he's gonna go before his kid. His son's gonna have to bury him. And that's really something, you know, for a lot of people should not be done for that should not be a child's responsibility until later in their life. It should never have to be so soon in, in one's life. So for however long he's got left, I hope he and his wife, his kid, his friends have all the best of luck. And for all you fucking trolls out there, you pieces of garbage, you you just downright fucking pieces of shit, anything, grow a fucking goddamn heart. Because if it was you and you got sick... You'd want people to pity you, or you would just like people to say, hey, like, you know, we're here for you, like, you're not alone, like, this is not something you have to go through. So, stop being fucking retards for, like, one second, and what I mean by that is, I don't mean, like, you know, like, the mentally challenged, uh, you know, version, no, I mean, like, literal, heartless, stupid idiots that just type away on fucking keyboards, and think that they're tough guys, Without the consequences of their actions. And just being complete. And like I said. Fucktards. So with that. I'm going to end the video. Fuck trolls. Fuck all these idiots out there. These ignorant assholes. Forget about it. Anything. If you're on YouTube. You're on DeviantArt. Tumblr. Anything you do. And you get haters. Anything like that. Just go back and look at all the people who've praised the work that you've done. Even if it's one person who loves what you do. That's that's one person that's there that believes in you. And that that could that might not feel like 500,000 subscribers, but hey, one person that's good enough cuz that's how I felt for the longest time with some of the stuff I was doing. And if you don't like what I have to say, well, okay, try to argue I like let me hear your side, your pro cancer speech shit. Cuz I you know, I would love to see you try to do that because you're just going to get attacked by all people who've, who have been through, either been through this or known people who have been through it and suffered and they lost people. So good luck with that.